The first on the rotation of the play-in games, Texas A&M Corpus Christi versus Texas Southern. This opens up in favor of Texas Southern, minus 2.5. Uh, there are 3.5 starting to appear, and I think you kind of understand why when you look at just at least, at least the statistical breakdown of both of these teams. Neither of these teams is very skilled offensively. Uh, the best team, at least in terms of overall play, Texas Southern, 270th in the country in offensive efficiency. Corpus Christi, 287th, both averaging well under a point per possession. Big difference here, Maul, is Texas Southern is a very good defensive team, 107th in the country in total defensive efficiency. They're not a good rebounding team, but play the perimeter very well. We'll run three-point shooters off the line. And a team like Texas A&M Corpus Christi that really struggles on the offensive side, I think you understand why the market is so heavy here on Texas up. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't seen either of these teams play. I don't follow the SWAC in the Southland during the regular season, but you mentioned, remember, Texas Southern's had experience in this playing situation, and you mentioned their defensive efficiency. The one thing that concerns me with TSU, though, is their free throw percentage. They're around 67% as a team, and that could be something that comes back to haunt you when you go down the stretch of an NCAA tournament game. Uh, again, this is not a game I'm going to get involved in. So many times people come out, they're out here for March Madness, so they'll bet the game. Yeah. But to me, this is not a game I'm interested in betting unless I see something during the game that's extremely lopsided and you take advantage of that in play. Get prepared for all the madness with VEASAN's tournament betting guide, daily best bet emails, plus full access to VEASAN through April 5th for only $19 at VEASAN.com slash madness.